All right, we're on hole number four of the East Coast Tournament. Let's see what we got here. Hole number four. Definitely got an eagle shot here. I'm going to take my accurate bag, my rock, sniper, backbone, hornet, and a kingmaker. I don't really need the curl. I'm using the Kingmakers more, more just to cut the wind down on the second shot, but I'm going to bring a Titan so I have enough, <clears throat> enough for the, uh, the weekend round. I think there's three holes that I'm bringing a Kingmaker on that I could potentially bring a Kingmaker on. Let's see here. One, two. So I need 12 of them total so I can drop this drop this one for the time being. Let's go look at it one more time. Looks right. Off we go. The whole goal is not to overshoot this drive shot. You don't want to get out there too far with your drive because it actually diminishes the second shot. In my opinion, you want to be up a little bit so you have more of the green to work with so that you can run the ball up to the green instead of having to use backspin on it. You are gonna you want to use a little bit of backspin, but the farther forward you go, the more backspin you have to use. One and a half. Two nine, that's about a three ring pull. Put some curl on it to bring it away from that fairway over there. Hitting it perfect. Stop right there. Perfect. Nice open shot to the green. I'm a little farther out in the fairway than I would like to be, but I didn't, I put that curl on there because I didn't want to rough, to mess around with the edge of this rough. I really like to be kind of like halfway between where I'm at and the, and the rough right there, but that is the safe play. It's just to bring yourself out in the middle, but give yourself the open shot. And it's not that if you're out here that you, you don't have a shot. It's that if you're out here, you're needing more backspin in order to get your first bounce so that it's on the fringe right there. You'll you'll pinch yourself. And ending up in the rough over there is, I mean, this is a great hole to give yourself a shot at to get an eagle. We were in front of the hole, so we're right at max now. So 1.2 per ring. Or excuse me, 1.1 per ring. One point one per ring, three four, so we're about a three ring pool. Three rings and just a sliver. Getting it perfect. Give myself a look. Getting a hole. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! In the hole. Need to pick up something. Got to pick up. Got to pick up a couple shots per round per side. Where I was at right there with the 1.1 per ring. You see, I still hit on the edge of the cup. And I've been missing this to the right. So it's almost like we need to do a little bit of an overpull, maybe a 10% overpull. But I definitely like being where I was more into my max club because I've been hitting a little bit on the inside of that and I'm kind of in between clubs. And I definitely liked hitting that spot. Even where I hit right there, it still needed a little bit more wind taken out of it. So I'm going to add on 10% on that hole because I have been missing to the right. And I just barely got that in. All right. That was hole number four. That's how to get an eagle on hole number four.
Picking one up. All right. I will see you on hole number five. Thanks for watching.